we've raided Matt's bin. We found a empty condom box. I'm gonna call a pharmacy, and here the girl is his mistress is pregnant. Jenny speaking. I buy the condoms from you guys. I wear one lock every single time. Like there's no lock down in my mind. Boom, boom, boom. My girlfriend, right? She is now pregnant. I can't have this woman pregnant. Lock. I, I can't. I don't know yeah, what to do. Lock. You would have to take it up with the merchandising of the company, not with us. If a drug dealer sells me bad drugs, I'm going to the drug dealer. I'm not going to the bloody manufacturer. That's too far to go. Lock. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to episode number 30. Is it 30? 30. Whoa. One. Nah, 30. Double digits. 29's look, today. 28. Yeah, 29. 29's today. We did 30 on Friday and no, 31. 31. Today. Holy shit, it's still so confusing, everybody. But here we are. We got a jam packed episode. We've got some crazy shit happening, man. We got a good prank call. We got some more Tinder adventures. We got some fucking crazy shit coming up this episode. And there's something really exciting happening in seven minutes, too, for Matt Brown's benefit. Oh, so that's that real. He has no idea about. That sucks no idea about I. It. If someone's coming, this is not a good day for them to show up. <laughs> what do you mean? It's Imagine perfect. if we it's got you, like a girl to come and you were dressed. I don't like want that. you to have a girl come. <laughs> what about a boy? If we got a boy to come, I don't want you to have a boy come. <laughs> okay. Well, whatever it is, guys, you're in for a real treat, right? It's, oh, it's my anxiety it is, is pumping. It is all to help Matt Brown. Um, yeah, I can't say too much. Oh, more. I know. But anyway, look, we <laughs> we we filmed the podcast like three days ago right because remember we said oh we filmed on a friday now it's so it's saturday sunday now it's monday so we only filmed a podcast three days ago so the shit talk there's not much to talk about what do we do on the weekend i fucking just mon was away on a little girl's trip to nimbin so i had the house to myself for the first time in like so long and it's fucking like it's pretty cool just being home alone Oh, dude, it's it's definitely yeah, it's a good time. It's, I've realized it's so rare. From the moment I wake up to the entire time, there's always someone around me, always. So it's just like like just nice to be like you know. Your body has fine. to have time alone. Yeah, it's crazy. It's Brown, a, I'm just counting down seven minutes. <laughs> <laughs> but what did you like? What What do you reckon? Did you watch? What was like? Ne- did you just Netflix and chill? Oh, I went to the movies and we, me and the movie group went and saw Barbie. <laughs> that is one of the most disgusting Fuck sentences off. that you've ever said. Me and, and the movie group went to go How many and were there in the Barbie. movie group? Well, there's a, there's a few of them, but not everyone goes at the same time. We is that why, yeah, yeah, but how many this time for is that it, fucking film? Four. Is that why you're dressed like that? No, this just... The Barbie movie fucked you up. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, it, uh, it took over. I went and saw the Barbie movie with Esther. And it was shit, wasn't it? Yeah, it's heaps shit. It was and, and fucking they try and, shit. They try and like squeeze all these like um you know these weird ideologies into it. But I asked Esther after the movie. I was like, oh, what? what did you like, understand did you think? that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And she's like, she's she had no idea what they were on about because it's like as if they're gonna it's subliminal. It's programmed it's very weird slowly. though. I find it very strange that they try and jam that shit into movies now. It's just like just. Just, just leave entertainment as entertainment and fucking it's like should be a time when you can step away from all that shit that's going on you should be able to watch a movie without having fucking some you know, ideologies of you know fucking oh my and god it, I don't even want to get into it it burnt Will Ferrell for me like he was fucking pointless in it this is oh, what yeah, I think that's it. true yeah Will you know Ferrell I mean? was in it and I it got was a bit this. excited this is what it was <laughs> That's what I That's think what of it. Was. That's a puncture wound. Anyway, I don't want to even give it any time. It's, yeah, it's, I can't believe it made that much money. Yeah. Well, look at the marketing they spent. Yeah, like, I get. It's fucking everywhere. Bus stops are like full Barbie. I get why. Now it's just insane. Apparently just it fucking insane. matched uh, Atari 2. Shit. It's <laughs> trying to say Avatar. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Tarby. That's oh. like fucking Michael calling bloody Zambre what is it? Zambreras. Um, no. Zam- Zaffarelli. Oh Zaffarelli's for uh what do I, I don't call? even know the name yeah, of it. I now. don't even know the name <laughs> of it. It's now Zaffarelli's name. What's it normally called, James? Zaraffas. 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 Marco calls it Zaffarelli's and I fucking yeah. It, it's a better Can name. Can you connect to the Bluetooth here, James? It's the roadcaster one. So this is so the seven minutes has come by now, Matt, and now what we're going to do is about but, to happen. But Matt, for this... Are you coming into this? Yeah, yeah. For, when this, for when this happens, Matt, hey, 
Concentrate. What? When this happens, this is more of a learning lesson for you. So I will do the talking to begin with. Okay. What do you mean? It's a learning lesson for me. It's just. A, it's just. It's just a. Just. It's educational. Okay. This. Will, it will help you. Okay. We're here to help. Stop being such a nervous, fucking weird looking. I'm not going like to lie. Barbie taped you fucking no, shit. It's not it. the All Barbie right? film, Matt. So it will help you. But um, yeah, weekend was bloody beautiful. Just sat at home and just watched sport all day and just rested my body because fuck me, we're putting in some fucking big weeks. We got Michael's Bucks at the end of this week. So we're basically, and then we're having a week off next week. So we basically have to do like two weeks work in like fucking four days, three days. So it's just like, man, it's fucking intense at the moment. But man, I just cannot wait for the goddamn Bucks. Yeah, it's going to yeah, be worth this it. This time next week, we are going to be so regretful of it. Oh, yeah. This, On a Monday yeah, this time. Filming the, the podcast next yeah, week. Yeah, we is still gonna going will, to do it. You will witness like probably the worst podcast next week. I reckon, <laughs> I reckon, I reckon. No, it could be delirium. Though. Yeah, but you'll have good stories. Yeah. Maybe on Saturday on the, on the box, before we get too fucked, we should just set everything up just in case. Just in case. Oh, man. If and then just it could get... Because we're going to get we would all the boys in this shit, shit yeah, out yeah, of the yeah, podcast. Yeah. Dude. yeah. We could, could get, get some... Imagine really sending that to YouTube. But we could get <laughs> some... <laughs> so twisted. <laughs> we could get some clips out of that that could be gold. Yeah. Man. Well, we could we could call the next week's podcast... Do you want to leave Michael's that to me? Bucks podcast. And then it's all of the... Oh, man. We'd only, we'd only be able to have like four people on at a time. Fuck it, it'd be hot. just cycle through all the people here. I'll, I'll just, yeah. We'll, someone would need to be on security though, because Henry will break everything oh, when true. he's had some drinks. <laughs> like he would start going for the actual gear. Yeah, <laughs> he will. I would have. But then again, the only downside is you got to set up the cameras. That's the hard bit. Yeah. I don't yeah. know how we're going to do oh, that. It can't be that hard. hard. Yeah, like, we just, I we just, just set wake up phones. on Saturday and just stick them on and then we're only gonna have we're gonna get we're gonna forget that we're they're turned on and they're recording yeah look it doesn't so it might it probably won't It'll happen it yeah, probably won't it's, but yeah. to have the option there is funny it'd be good but worst case scenario you're gonna get us in delirium probably the big huge come down will be deep depression podcast next week yeah so you'll see some dark shit either way but at least we'll have fun stories from the box and we probably i know you probably were like oh film some of the box film some of the box but we just like to when we're having our personal yeah. like parties and there's a other all, a lot of our other friends there who aren't like on social don't like media. being on on social media we just kind of like to just be in the moment and just fuck film and but we'll you know we'll get stories and stuff occasionally but yeah, there's not too much filming that goes on um, during the Bucks just because we'd all be thrown into jail. Yeah, yeah. Our <laughs> eyes would be like t- diagonal and you just don't, yeah. We'd yeah all that's what be- happened last time. <laughs> oh yeah, but my just car out the window is, is a smashed car, oh. shit everywhere. I thought about yeah. the hung skeleton in the corner. <laughs> oh so, yeah, yeah, that's maybe what I thought someone died. Too. Oh no, what was uh, that? Scissors, I think. Um, <laughs> that's real nervous now. What's have you explained to Brown what's happening? No, no. Just maybe that, we should yeah, before okay. it happens. All right, let's do it. Would you like like to? Yeah. Well, we took we took the we took the um the forward thinking, and we thought you know maybe like all these segments we've had to find you love, and and they've they've had some success, but we thought let's take this to the next level. So we have hired a love coach. Hell she's, yeah. She's world renowned. She's been on the Today Show. She's been on Sunrise. She's no been shit. on international shit. I kind of don't want to talk to her. Yeah, yeah. I, I knew you'd say that. I knew you'd say that. So she's I, bisexual. Oh my God, she's calling. I will take the call as Matthew Brown, okay? But you can just take the lessons from this, Matt. <clears throat> hey, hello. This is Matthew Brown speaking. Oh, hi, Matthew. It's Samantha Dane. You booked a call with me. How are you? Oh, hey, Samantha. Yeah, that's right. I did too. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Thank you, for, thank you for the call. I really appreciate it. Oh, my pleasure. So how can I help? How did you hear about me? And- uh, okay. yeah. so, story. so, look, uh, Samantha, it's kind of, yeah, like a long story from me. Um, I've just had, like, trouble uh, meeting people. Um, and you know, I've, I've had a few ex-girlfriends and it just didn't end well. And like, I just find myself, um, kind of, um, like settling a little bit. And, and then I build resentment during the relationships over a short period of time. And then, yeah, things just go south. And other than that, I just kind of also, um, am quite like addicted to sex. Like I, um, I date a lot, like I date a lot. And I'm not sure if me doing that for a long period of time has kind of like distorted my view on like what a relationship and stuff should be. But um, 
yeah, like oh, I'm in my mid mid to late thirties now, and all my mates are like getting married and um, settling down, and I'm just kind of like the odd one out, and it's really starting to kind of affect my confidence a little bit. You what state are you in? Where are you located? So, so I'm in Brisbane, Queensland. Yeah. What about oh, you? what about what about you? Yeah, I'm in I'm in Brisbane too. Actually. Oh, cool! Um, oh, what are neighbours? <laughs> what are the chances? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> That's yeah, crazy. totally, totally. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. Well, because I ask, because there's, there's a couple of ways I can help. So I work with um, people who, you know, it's very common. I've heard, I've heard everything, um, and ultimately, when someone comes to me, they're really ready to meet the right person, and they want, you know, a healthy relationship, and quite often, confidence has been knocked about. I've been there too myself, so yeah. um, that that's just all about you know. It's like it's like we. I'll give you an antivirus, but yeah, it's like imagine you get a virus in your laptop. Uh, it's the same sort of thing. We'll just clear out the, okay, the yeah. thoughts that aren't healthy and create really good thinking strategies, and just really focus on what you want. And Samantha, that sounds great. That sounds like perfect. Yeah. Like, that's yeah. Perfect. Are you Thank working you. at the moment? Yeah, I am just at work, but it's okay. I, I can duck out for a few minutes. That that they won't I, mind. <laughs> what do you do for work? Uh, so I, I work at a concrete place, and I kind of um, sell uh, concrete to large corporations. I've co- kind of quite high up. I've been working there for a long time, and I've really worked my way up the um, the command chain there. So yeah, I'm quite high awesome. up. And so my career is like, yeah, I'm happy with my career. Like yeah. I wake up in the mornings, and like I'm proud to sell concrete, <laughs> concrete and shit. Like it's yeah, it's, it's quite a fulfilling yeah. role. Yeah. 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 yeah some of my friends, some um, date men, and that. Well, they've got partners in that industry and like yeah. it's really good industry. It's really massive. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Going you, off. You, uh, you, yeah. Samantha, you wouldn't believe, Samantha, how many offices and how many trucks and stuff we have. Yeah. It's just crazy. It's amazing. Yeah. It's good. It's good. When I was at uni, they used to, um, <laughs> we used to have these guys call us and, oh, is that the concrete cutter? So clearly we had like the wrong, um, they had the wrong number or they disconnected and it became our phone number. You know, anyway, it was quite funny. <laughs> um, That's crazy. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah. So, yeah, okay, I can definitely um, help you. So, really, it's about confidence and also helping you attract someone that you're really attracted to, like keep your standards high. Yeah, yeah, I think so that, that's, that, the, that's the other thing. My standards, mm-hmm. I, I kind of look for like like 18, 19-year-old, like blonde hair, like fake boobs, really tiny and skinny mm-hmm. and really mm-hmm. tight, tight, taut little bums and like really athletic little bodies and stuff like that. And I can't kind of like – switch my thinking on that like that is what i'm attracted to but i find then that when i date them that we don't really have anything in common and it just affects my yeah. confidence so much i get home and i'm so down and i just like just slump in my bed and it's just really hard some days like i just really struggle with with uh, making eye contact with people and even shaking hands now Okay, so what if you could meet someone that still had those physical features that you're attracted to, you, but then she's a little bit older and more aligned with you? Oh, that would be perfect, Samantha. If you know her, let me know and send me her number straight away. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. Well, I will, I will. I'm, I'm just kidding. I'm just joking. Yeah, 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 yeah no, I get it. So, um, and you're funny, so that's awesome. Oh, okay, thank you so, so much. Then, yeah, my So you can attract women, but they're just not the right ones, do you think? Yeah, yeah, something along the lines. Yeah. And and then I, I, as the time has gone by, my confidence has just whittled away, whittled away, and now yeah. I really just loathe myself. I hate what I see in the mirror, and I just really yeah. can't stand myself, and it just really affects every facet of my life. It's oh, just it's really, like really like kind it. of let myself go, and like, yeah, it's just, I'm disgusted. I look in the mirror, and I'm literally disgusted at myself. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, I know. Well, yeah. yeah. Well, what I'll do, I know you I'm just thinking, shall I send you some information? I just come up with my ideas. Are you online dating at the moment? Do you have any profiles or photos or apps or anything like that you, you're on that you can yeah. use yourself and also who you're attracted to? Yeah, yeah, sure. So I'm on Tinder, I'm on Bumble, I'm on um oh there's a really embarrassing one that I sign up to, um, called Hinge? F- Fuckbook. No, it's it's just this one specifically just for sex. But I signed up to Fuckbook about a year ago. Um, but those are my three main ones that I use. Okay, great. Okay, well, how about what I what I'll do is um, I will um, send you some more information, and why don't we make another time to chat? See you later in the week. Oh, Samantha, that would be absolutely perfect if if we could do that. Yeah. All right, perfect. Uh, shall we say just sort of lunchtime work for you? Yeah, like Mondays is definitely best for me. Um, could we do like yeah, maybe maybe like one p.m. next Monday? Is, do you have any availability then, or? 
don't know that I do it then, but I probably got something, say, uh, looking at maybe like Wednesday. Thursday, if that works for you. Yeah, so nothing on Mondays. Mondays is kind of like the only day. It's a bit chill at work. Like one of the other as executives is here, so I can kind of, you know, delegate some work to him so I can duck out for a few minutes. Great. Okay, that's Done. Awesome. I'll send you an email and then yeah, send me an email with some some and, of your screenshots of your profile and things and I can and, figure it out. Okay, great. Yeah, mm-hmm. we'll, I'll, I will do that. Um, and Samantha, this might be a bit forward and stuff, but like... Are you, do, are you like seeing anyone at the moment or are you, do you do this strictly? Yes, I am. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah. okay, yeah, yeah. There, there, there goes my confidence again. <laughs> oh. <laughs> not at all, not at all. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, all right. That, hurt, that hurts. <clears throat> okay, Samantha, well, I guess um, I'll chat to you next Monday then if that's okay. Excellent, excellent. Awesome. Okay, I'll see you, you then. You. Have a great week, Thanks. okay? okay. Great Bye. to Great Thank to you. meet you. See you. See, see you soon. See you. Dude, that is so she, fucked up. She is hating her job right now. She's yeah, like, she what am I going to do with this Creep factor five. <laughs> <laughs> that was spot on, though. That was very similar notes. to Matt. You've got some notes here. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> so she's calling again next week. And look, I'll, I, if you want, I can continue to get the information because I know you'd be too all like, oh, I'm too cool to speak to a dating coach. Me, 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 me. So I will do the call as you because I pretty much know exactly what you would say anyway, and I know. No, you don't. You. What, what do you mean? I just nailed you. Oh fuck that! I thought that was you. <laughs> so I, I didn't even realize. Michael that didn't even see that it was me. <laughs> Holy shit! That was a mirage. One worry I have: if we send her the photo of Matt's profile, she's gonna like look up the podcast and know. <laughs> well, uh, the Tinder ones, there's no mention of the podcast. Oh, there is not. No, I've taken it out. Because, Bloody beauty! Because it was leading to too many um, upset ladies. <laughs> yeah. Okay, perfect then. We had some upset ones. And we should make a fuck book for the profile yeah. of Matt. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Have really his profile picture of the one. gun. <laughs> 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 Oh, James took the best pitch. Picture I of show Matt. everyone. I don't know Did about. I? I don't know how I feel about the. Uh, the what's it called? Fuck book. Yeah, I don't want to do that. <laughs> Where's that photo? <laughs> Did you like that, Matt? All right, I have something to say about this. No, but seriously, Samantha. James said Samantha is even quite good looking herself. Absolutely. Well, so she's taken. As she yeah, said. yeah, mate. Come on, you're Matt Brown. There's ain't no ain't also, no stopping you. <laughs> it's just so. Cringe. Helpful. It's not not helpful at all. I, bl- I blur out everything. As soon as she started speaking, my whole brain was like. Yeah. Well, I you just, have it on repeat. We have it filmed uh, now. Yeah, so why we re- watch later. later. Exactly why I want to do the talking because you would have just clammed up and been like. Mm, <laughs> <laughs> and wasted Samantha's time. One hundred and ten percent. I would have. How much did you waste on that? That was four hundred bucks the initial consult, and there's an, ex- an extra Fuck five hundred dollars for an hour call next Monday. Fuck off! No, you're paying that. One hundred percent. So you show some appreciation no. and, wow. and do this and do this on yourself. No. <laughs> Man, holy shit. So who's just, paying for that? Dude, we spent we are money on you. The sponsors of this podcast are. No. <laughs> that is a waste of money. <laughs> dude, if you learn even one scary of information, I consider that a raging success. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> Suck sex! I'm not in the right outfit Suck to look sex. angry. Suck sex! Suck <laughs> sex is good. We are so successful. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, um, oh, sex. Sex. oh, anyway, should we um, move on to the fucking sponsors, Brown Town, eh? You like that or what? Sorry. <laughs> Look at him, he's all flustered. It's all for you. Everything's for you. It's, it's, it's all for you. Oh, Everything's for the heads. brown. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not flustered. I was just, a, I'm just, I'm more upset at the money you've just wasted. Yeah. Wasted? That's a waste. Is that she really was how very much? informative? <laughs> yeah, she sounded, did she say? Did she, she say she wanted nice. images of the girls that Matt's um, attracted to? Did, did she really? I no, think so. Did have she? to play it back. I didn't. Hear I don't so. think so. I oh, think she said she, she wanted did. to see her, um, see all of his profiles, see the profiles and. Profiles, yeah. <laughs> So Man. funny she thinks Matt's attracted to little eighteen year old <laughs> fucking. We should absolutely make a profile with that with that one. <laughs> and see what and she written in the pro- in his Tinder profile, we should change it to only swipe right <laughs> if you're eighteen or nineteen and blonde with fake tips. <laughs> <laughs> and he's full confused about why he doesn't get cut. <laughs> it's cold. Anyway, very, very informative, very helpful. You are welcome, Matt. You can all fuck up. <laughs> <laughs>
I don't, I don't think I want to do this it's anymore. To, <laughs> all is well that ends well. It's hard to t- like sit here what he's saying when he looks like that. He's got babies strapped to his arms for those. Yeah, today's not the day it. to be upset about something. Yeah, exactly. I feel like you missed a career in like costume design, but like <laughs> for like <laughs> fucked up like horror Serial movies. Serial killers. <laughs> yeah. yeah this you is, look like a cross between like a clown and an acrobatic like. Yeah, uh, 80s uh, acrobatic girl. Yeah. I knew you had a gift when we had that boys trip and you dressed up as the gay. Yeah. It was unbelievable. It was like the attention to detail. Yeah, you helped with that. Oh, but only well, I just did what I was told. <laughs> that was your idea, Brown. <laughs> was this good. is all Brown's idea. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what a beautiful talent. <laughs> he loves his pinkness. Highlights <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> his pink skin tinge. <laughs> tinge. <laughs> Very good. <gasps> oh, fucking sponsors. All right, everyone. All right, boys. Oh, thank you, James. You have... Oldie. I'll be back I'll later. Sure. I want you to breathe in at home. Feel your lungs and then... Okay. Calm your mind, clear your mind and listen to my words. Go to manscaped.com and buy their fucking grooming products. They got ball wipes and hair trimmers and ear fuckers and dung fuckers and you put your dog down with their fucking knives. You can go to their website. They got the best mailing, male grooming products in the whole world. Use our discount code FULLYACTUAL20 for 20% off. Shave your body. Go and get a fuck. Shave your body. Go and get a fuck. Stay at home. Grow your hair. Toss yourself off. Pretty simple solution. It's also for women. Weigh it up. And I actually used it on my cat the other day. See? So you can use it on your animals too. Fuck off. Which is, it's like, fuck, normally you have to you buy You to shave shaver. cats. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah they, because that's how they get fucking infections. It's in a, they, it insulates them, their fur. It also protects them from infections. Coming into summer, I'm trying to help her out. But yeah, you, you've just Killed given her. her a death sentence. I haven't seen it for a few <laughs> days, actually. <laughs> She's probably frozen to death on the roof. Oh, under the we'll, porch. Yeah, don't, maybe not cats, but use it on other animals if you want. Yeah, like possums and Ants. wallabies and shit. You got a fucking couple of geckos. Yeah. The ball shaver 4.0, it's waterproof. You can shave in the shower, save time, and fucking get that shit up. Your link in our description manscaped.com slash fully actual 20 for 20% off fucking just go and have a look have a look and AG1 are you feeling you know when you you fucking you feel a bit shit a bit run down a bit tired and you don't really know why you've been eating the same or you haven't had time to eat well life's getting so busy you're like fuck it I'm just gonna get KFC tonight you have a few drinks on the fucking weekend you have a few drinks on fucking Sunday cause you're a bit fucking hung over you fucking you just you haven't exercised for a while AG1 is this health powder that has 75 vital nutrients and minerals in it you pay a subscription they drop it at your front door you have one serving a day and it is literally health in powdered form all right it makes all of us feel better there's no way you can get those 75 vital nutrients and minerals from your uh, a, a balanced diet it's just not going to happen all right it's a fucking they got travel packs it's super healthy dairy free gmo free all this crazy shit the inventor has extended his life and his quality of life fucking by a hundred times and they're constantly tweaking the form formula to, to match the latest science so fucking link in our description ag1 use our discount code fully actual for a free travel pack so when you're flying a bali to go fuck hookers you can have one a day still <laughs> yeah yeah it makes you better and of course our subscription website where we post weekly fucking massive videos and not just us Kyle Evick and Zach Ars do too so three brand spanking you fucked up videos every week that are way too fucked for social media cunt and there's like fucking 300 videos on there now there's a fucking 21 day free trial you link in the description you click it you watch you don't like it you leave you guys are like an online stream service for crazy videos now it's literally it's what exactly. our plan has been all along Brown so if you signed up which I'm sure you still haven't somehow. No, haven't. You, we don't just get us, but you get two other content creators. Mm. So three videos a week. And our That's best vids. One like, every day of the week. Like what's coming out? Much. Oh, right now is out, guys. A video where we, I'm pretty sure it's out right now. A video where we 
convince an old person's home or a retirement oh, yeah, village. It just got dark. <laughs> that <laughs> we were, were we that we're volunteer that we're a volunteer performance group. Me and James did this because Michael really didn't want to do this. So they're like, oh yeah, come in. We'll you know we'll and it turned into a big deal. So this this retirement agency was like. Yeah, yeah, come in, come perform for us. I, I had no idea what our performance was going to be. So I tell Michael, the day before we're due to go in, we make up a performance, we rehearse it once, and we go to the aged care center, and we do our fucking performance in front of all of these old people and the staff. So if you want to watch that, watch it for free. The link is in the description. Signing up, you will have to put your credit card details in. Yes, that is correct. But if you cancel, email our support and say, cancel me before the 21 days you leave free of charge and now you've seen the video it's, they can tell your friends about it man so we're giving you free content if you choose B yeah or you can stay on if you really like the content which I hope you will because we've got a lot of banger videos on there that is the whole goal of the 21 day trial is to get you to say fuck this is good shit and that's why we have it because we're so confident that most people don't just watch and go nah this is shit I'm leaving most people watch and go hang on a second this is worth Twelve dollars Australian a month. Yeah, it's bang for your buck. Because you're not going to see this shit anywhere. Bang! <laughs> yeah. You scared me, man. <laughs> You've scared me, bro. Oh, that was fun. All right, well, let's have a uh, mighty big blast, bong break, full inhale of the weed smoke. <laughs> We'll be back with Matt vs. Mike. And we're back. I kind of cut that, all that last conversation. Uh, yeah. That's why I said, and we're back. Oh, sorry. Um, <laughs> Edwin's uh, back. Edwin's clack. Oh, look at Matt sipping at his bloody piss. Oh. Man, Is that a mother? Addictive. Yeah. Thank you for supporting them. Yeah. We are sponsored by Mother. We are Mother Energy Drink Ambassadors. Anyway, sorry about that. All right. <laughs> what just came out of that? It's time what for What is Ma- it? <laughs> Four, you sickness. I don't know. That's been there for ages. Where's it? Came? Must have come out of your chair. No one knows what you're talking about, Matt. Think about those people listening at home. the condom. Yeah. Matt vs. Michael, it's Matt vs. Michael, it's Matt vs. Michael today. Matt vs. Michael, it's Matt vs. Michael, it's Matt vs. Michael today. Yay! Come, come, come have fun. Come, come, come open. What's the come? Come have fun. Come have fun. Come have fun today. Bottle of cum. Yeah. <laughs> and this is a segment where Matt and Michael go head to head every single week and we tally who's winning and it's currently 14 to 13 no, uh, 15 to 14 wow. to Michael okay 15 14 to Michael yep. and we're, this is episode 31 so we're getting closer alright the winner of this competition overall gets to keep Matt's bottle of mints which will be at our podcast live finale which if tickets are still available right now the link will be in the description for so if you're in Brisbane you want to come watch our live show it's in November on a Saturday and then we're all going to a bar after and getting fucked up with yous so if you want to come to that link in the description if tickets are still available I'm not sure. Okay, I don't know what date or whatever this fucking thing's coming out, right? But right now, all that matters is Matt versus Michael. And today, we find out who is the better sculler. 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 I have here two huge glasses of water, and they will take it in turns to scull the glass. The other one may use their words to try and distract them while they're sculling. Okay. No touching, none of that. You can say or say yeah. with your words something to try and stop them from sculling. All right, I will time the scull. Two questions. Yeah. I will win is the first question. <laughs> Second question is, is it puree water? Because I ain't drinking yes, tap water. Yes, it is. I knew, okay. I knew you were going to say that. And yes, it is pure water. Holy shit. This is big, bro. Right. Are you this even is... good? Do you know how to drink? No, nah, I can't scull. This Matt, is come on. Okay. Bit of confidence. Oh, no, I'll try. But I'm just saying Michael has years of alcoholic. 
Yeah, you, know, so you just you gotta know, open your thoughts. Years, years, years behind him, it's just you, he doesn't skull alcohol. Like, I can't skull beer. The beers. experience is quite. He does not skull I'm alcohol. Sip. I'm a sipper. He's a very quick sipper, like a lizard at a f-ing watering hole. Let's get it on. Paper scissors rock. Can I wait? Can I have another request? Can I have James sit in on this? Yes, James, could you please sit in on this? <laughs> Why? I'm gonna watch. Uh, it's oh, just nice to have too. support. You want to go sit down, James? Come on. No, sorry, no spilling. Any spilling, I will add five seconds. Oh yeah, I like that. Yeah, well done, Marty. Must be a, it. Must be a clean skull. All right, scissors, paper, rock to see who goes first. <laughs> Do you want to bet, Cooper? Just, oh, just man, reminding you, it's two. Crazy. Is it two and zero? Oh? Yeah. Oh, okay, I'll let you choose. Ten dollars. We bet big here at Marty and Michael. <laughs> you got okay. All right, Cooper, one of our editors thinks that my, that f- for five dollars, Michael will win. Yeah. Anyone else? What? Okay. No, you don't. Ready. Scissors, yeah. paper, rock. <laughs> Scissors, <laughs> paper, rock. Yes! You're going first. Oh, Is uh, Matt allowed to stand or must he sit? Uh, sit, just it's for camera. Sit. Okay, just... make sure you All right, good so, posture. So no spilling, Matt, and the time will start. Well, I'll count nervous. you down from three. Come on, Brown. Just wait, just wait. I'll count you down. I'll count you down. Let me get my Come on, Matt. Out. Come on, Matt. All right. <clears throat> All right. Come on, Matt. Here we go. Clear your mind and skull. Three, two, one. Go. Go. Go, go, solid Matt Brown. Start. That's fucking that's good, man. Don't, that's don't good. Don't, trip. don't spill any. Fuck that's you, Brown. That's fucking good. Come on, Matt. Dude, that's good. Yes. Keep going. Yeah, keep, keep going. Keep going. Ah. Keep going. Ah. Keep going, Matt. This is fucking good shit. shit. Go, 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 go. There's go, someone go, behind go, you. Go, go, There's go, someone behind go, you. Go, go, go. Come on, Matt. All the way up. Stop. Well done, dude. That's not fucking bad. What do you get? Easy. All right, 21 seconds. 21 seconds. 20 seconds well, and 20, 94 milliseconds. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Yeah, 20, I've got a bet on to here. abuse you. I just oh, spilled a little bit. Yeah, you can get water poisoning. No, you can't touch I him, but you can him. abuse yeah. him. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Because I, I would, but I'm in the way. I just wanted to check. Yeah. All right. All right, Michael. You can oh, make him a, laugh. It's a disadvantage going for I can't water. yell. I'm so... Dude, if, you, if we made Michael laugh, it's a guaranteed win. Can't skull and laugh oh, at the same Michael's time. Just smelling the water, he doesn't trust me. <laughs> oh, yeah, I wish it was vodka, dude. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Kill him. Oh. All right, ready? You got Three, this, Coop. two, wait, one. Wait, wait. Oh, five seconds added. No, no, no. All right, ready? <laughs> Three, two, one, go. Don't spill any. Oh, no, f- no. Yes. Don't spill any. F- He's f- doing well. Oh, come on. Yeah. What the f? Oh, man. Oh, oh yeah. Spill you. P- it's kind oh of my gross. lord, that's unbelievable. Oh, yeah. That is disgusting, dude. That was really gross. Oh my God. If you didn't stop though, it would have been much closer. I, help. I had too much in my stomach already. No, but because then you filled it, the rest of it. I glass of mother. I almost well done, dude. got half of your f-ing time. Well, yeah, dis- I was once again disadvantaged because I'm sitting here scaling a whole drink of mother and then you pull that out of me. <laughs> hey, it's I've a been glass drinking of water. water the whole time yeah. from my cup of water. Shut bottle. up, you f-ing weird Barney Rubble looking <laughs> All right, so Michael got Barney first. Rubble. Barney Rubble if he had a job interview. <laughs> Barney Rubble. Who the f*** is that? Flintstones, dude. Oh, I see. All right, so Michael got 13 seconds. Matt got 20, <laughs> which extends Michael's lead. It is now 16 to 14. Matt, you need to f- pull it together these last few also, weeks. Also, none of you said anything during his. You needed more You needed more support. You, you looked like you were about to that stop. Was so we sub- I was trying to fire nah, you. you I, said, worse. I said spill it, you f- I wanted to say I was, yeah. I was going go go like firing you up. Uh, none of you helped. Sorry, oh, I'd, rather you all be, I'd rather you're you being be quiet. victim. That's victim mentality. I just I'm always at a disadvantage. Oh my god! You pulled that one out of the worst time. My stomach's just full of mother. Yeah, it's just it's it's all in you right now. So there is that the, how full your stomach is. It's all still able to fit in. Yeah. So it doesn't matter. You can you can fill your stomach in one second. <laughs> there's still fucking room in there. Nah, that was a terrible time. It was. I could have drank two to your one. I still almost. think he would beat me anyway. He's and yeah, he drinks better than me. Yeah, you really. I don't really think I've seen you skull before. It was really like I've seen yeah. him skull. It's kind of like he yeah, wasn't yeah. swallowing; it was just slowly it's pouring it into calm. his body. It hurts. I've seen do. him skull before. That's why I was shocked that when you said that, you've never seen him skull. 
Sculling comes out very Yeah, rarely. I can't remember Michael sculling. Yeah, yeah I try. If I scull, it can get dangerous. <laughs> Responsible all of a sudden. <laughs> skull. Skull. Oh, skull. Oh, oh, I owe you money, Cooper. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> all right, fun. and that's fucking all right, that was fun. Michael. We haven't done this shit clap for ages. That's good. Just realize. <clears throat> that was a good one. All right, shall we move right along? Remember we went to do it at the live and we never did it? Yeah. Maybe we'll do it this time. Maybe. I will Ma- forget. May- maybe. All right, that was for Klein. Yeah, what's the for Kleins in the clans? All right, everybody. It's time for everyone's fuck you. <laughs> Should we do a... Nah, let's not do a screaming segment. I need to save my voice. Let's get into Matt's Tinder adventures because yes. boy, oh boy, are they beautiful. Yes. Hit it, Brown. T-I-N-D-R, we have Matt's Tinder. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> Matthew Brown has lost control now. These women will lose their souls. Yeah, it's a, all depression for me today. Why? Nothing. Why? Nothing. Oh, Matt, come on, man. Did your mum bully it? Bullied by you guys a lot today. Dude, we called a fucking dating coach. And bullied then, me with a dating coach. And then that's it. And then you were just shit at sculling. So bullied me. Yeah, see, bullying me shit at sculling. That's okay. You're going to bully me sculling. with Tinder adventures. Oh, dude, you would love this. We'll probably... If I'm not here next episode, guys, you know. He's probably in his room. <laughs> Listening to that Evanescence yeah. song. Oh, wake me up inside. <laughs> I can't wake up. <laughs> <laughs> I can see Matt singing that to himself in the wake shower. Wake me up inside. I gotta wake up. <laughs> Save me. All right. <laughs> Matt starts the conversation with. Mm. Mm. I got a new steel ladder on the weekend. How was your weekend? Oh, nice. I've got one of them. They perform really well. Yeah, good. Spend it up at the Gold Coast. Had mate's hens night. You? Yeah, I've got like 12 of them now. <laughs> They're so handy. I use them for everything. Oh, cool. I love hens and bucks. They're so fun. I've actually got a box this weekend. Stay off the grass, as my mother would yell. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. I reckon, hey, you can get up to all kinds of trouble and the mischief you can get up to. <laughs> oh, nice. That's awesome. We'll enjoy your bucks party. Mum's no best. Yeah, but don't worry. There's no strippers or anything coming. We're just a, a close group of mates and just a party together, I promise. I wouldn't. <clears throat> I don't want you worrying about me. We had a stripper. They couldn't keep hand, their hands off me. It was just irresistible. Haha, <laughs> that's no fun. Haha, <laughs> no, you can't make me worried like that now, lol. I'm not worried. I'm sure it would be a great night with the boys. Have a wicked night. Make me jealous with all the fun you're having. Wait, what? Oh, yuck. Oh no. The stripper had his hands all over you? Oh. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> and you were just okay with that? Lol. <laughs> You're like trying to make me jealous or something? He's a stripper for fuck's sake. He's never going to settle down. There's no point in pursuing anything with him. I would never do a thing like that. He did and he knew how to use them. Of course, I can't complain with a half, hot half-naked man who wants you, that wants you. Oh damn, I thought I found my dream, guy. You're so right. All oh, right, so you're just on Tinder for roots and meaningless, meaningless slugs buried up ya. I'm looking for long-term partners, not someone who brags about getting gripped and groped by a stranger. Crane beams have more stability than this. <laughs> Oops, my bad. You're right. A bean has more stability. I'm new to this whole Tinder thing. Yes, yeah, same here. I need someone to take to after parties and events. I can't help it. The camera and everyone loves me. I'm eating like 15 fucking sausages right now. (laughs) (laughs) Is that the end of the conversation? (laughs) That's the end of the conversation. (laughs) That's good, dude. That is so fucked up, man. (laughs) Stupid crane. Did she unmatch or did she just stop? No, I just have, like, because I've only had, literally only had half a day yesterday where I did Tinder Tinder Converse because it's only been three days since our last podcast. But anyway. (laughs) That's brilliant. Matt starts with, persuade me. I make amazing sandwiches. (laughs) I'm outside your house. I'm breathing quickly. Do you need a drink of water or a ventilator to help you breathe better? I need to I need a slit to fill. Oh. oh my god, dude. 
No. Well, stop hiding in the bushes and come inside. I'm sure I could help you with that. Whoa. Where do you live? I want to split you and gush my internal fluids throughout your corpse. I live in a house. <laughs> oh, you're such a tease. I thought I had you then. I thought I would get to my feed tonight. Oh, oh. no. Oh, I'd love to help you out, but I have my son tonight and I don't like people in the house when he's home. Sorry. I'm green and silver in the moonlight. <laughs> green and silver. <laughs> <laughs> like you're outside, like looking for a, and then after that you notice for the first time that you're green and silver in the moonlight, <laughs> and say it to her. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Dude, that's so good. Oh my god. I love that. Oh. <laughs> All right. Holy shit, she's keen. Yeah, I know. Like she was like, Well come I want to f- uh, to fill a sleep and she's like, well, come in- <laughs> come inside then she says. Well the kids there, man. Anyway. Yeah. Alright, Matt starts with <clears throat> All I'm asking is for everything. Be me. You what? <laughs> It's, a, it's from a poem. All I'm asking is for everything. I added the be me at the end because I thought it sounded heap sick. Pretty cool, hey? Are you smart too? <laughs> it was heap sick apart from the spelling mistake. Oh, where's the spelling mistake? Be me instead of be mine. I thought you were smart. Oh, no, I mean the be me. I believe that when you find your true life partner, you slowly emulsify into one human. <laughs> so be me means I want you to be that person. To be me. That's fuck. I'm clay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm confused. But it's okay. But I get it, sort of. I'm <clears> clay. <throat> <laughs> Sorry, here we go. So be me is me asking you if you're willing to become so close with me that we merge into one person, one me, and we'll both be me as one. Tell me about yourself and hurry up. Oh no. Hurry up? What's all the rush for? Babe, I'm 43. I don't have time to waste. Aww. Be me. I need to find out. I'm ready to become one with someone. I will be the most intensely affectionate person you, you have ever been with. Oh. Your profile says you're 36. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just made Tinder seven years ago and I haven't updated my bio in a while. I don't know why I'm still here when you're talking so much shit. But okay. <laughs> Very good question. Maybe we're just connected and there's an energy between us that is undeniable. Maybe. Or maybe I'm just drawn to things that I know are going to traumatize me. <clears throat> to, exper- to experience great trauma, first you must experience great pleasure. So what do you say? Shall we plow ourselves to Pleasure Town and worry about the trauma later? <laughs> Before you go to Pleasure Town, I think you need to go to therapy. Then I'll reconsider. Come with me. Then we can hook up in the car park and come <clears throat> when you come and pick me up. Sounds hot, not gonna lie. Therapy rewards, we'll call it. I'll go to therapy five times a day and I'll get them to prescribe antidepressants and we'll snort them and then fuck till we, so we don't lose consciousness. Please, that sounds so wholesome and romantic. I'm down and if you're extra well behaved, I'll let you do a line of antidepressants off my titties. Whoa. Then we can be soul tied forever. Uh, <laughs> I'm fucking hunched over and my head is dangling right now. I've got super long arms and fingers. Let's swap teeth. And then, and then <laughs> she unmatched. Oh, oh, wow. Looked like it was going somewhere. <clears throat> oh my god, dude, that's intense. All right, Matt starts with um, <clears throat> tie knots and shoelaces, and when they bend over to untie them, lay the whole weight of your body on them. <laughs> it's gesh. I'm gesh gesh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid I don't know what that means. <laughs> I was just telling you a joke. You have to imagine what I said is happening, like this. Lay my fingers down on the table and stare at my mother while you grate my tips off. <laughs> See? It's funny when you think of it happening. The look on your mother's face would be so funny. Are you having a stroke? <laughs> it's a joke. Are you still not getting it? You have to liter- literally close your eyes and imagine what I'm saying, okay? Imagine duct taping like 15 cats together and then trying to sell the ball of stuck cats to a zoo and pretend it's a lion. <laughs> See? That would be funny if that happened. 
No reply. <laughs> Dude, that is fucked. That is so fucked up. Things are out of control today. <laughs> <laughs> I've really liked this. Gash, this gash. I've really liked this setup of this one. <clears throat> it says, "There's a crowd of people who want me dead," <laughs> and it just starts <laughs> like that. But I've already got away. Anyway, we'll save that one for next week. Uh, right, so she starts this one. So she's really keen. Hey, how was your weekend? Graphic. I saw an old lady slip as she was running for the bus. She fell forwards on her forehead, and her forehead landed flush on the gutter. Bone fragments splintered through her skin as her head bounced back. She began to scream louder than I've ever heard anything before. I had to cover my ears. The screams lasted like 30 seconds and then she fell silent. Blood was oozing from her head, ears, eyes and spraying out of her open mouth. It was so fucked. Did you hear about it? It was on the news, south side near Carindale. <laughs> Damn, that's unlucky. First I've heard of it, my weekend wasn't, wasn't nearly as graphic. <clears throat> Yeah, I've had to take the day off work. I ran over to help her and her skull had shattered. A huge dimp dint deep enough that it hit her brain. Her tit slipped out of her open shirt and I had to walk away. <laughs> so brutal. But I'm sick of talking about it. Let's change the subject. Did you do anything for Riverfire? <laughs> <laughs> what did her nipples look like? Oh. Like crispy overcooked eggs. But I didn't. But I don't want to talk about it, okay? I need to know more. <laughs> Crispy overcooked eggs? You didn't mention electricity in your first message. Or was that just the natural state of her nipples? That was just the state of them. She was like a hundred years old. But yeah, her scream is what stays with me. It was louder than any sound I'd ever heard before. Like 1,000 screams, but all at once. But please, can we just change the subject? <laughs> no reply. Dude, that's fucked. Yeah, all right. Last one. And this one is on <laughs> is ongoing as well. I think I read the beginning of this one a few weeks ago, but <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So she starts with, Hey Mr. Brown, how are you? Wink face. I'm swinging on tree branches. <laughs> I fucking love hanging out at parks. What's you been? Yeah, I remember. Oh my god. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> I was at the zoo. Being a monkey sounds like fun though. <laughs> Oh shit, I throw really hot pies at the meerkats. <laughs> they sprint over and then the filling burns their little faces. I've only done it once though. I thought we were already talking. <clears throat> yeah, we are. Please don't ever leave me. <laughs> I thought you left me. You popped back up in my recently matched thing. Oh, so there was a bit of time between these messages. That's why that sounds confusing. I have a habit of popping up in places like gardens and from foxholes. How's your Sunday? Want to drink and take pills? I mean, that sounds delightful right now. I've got codeine, Xanax, MDMA pills, and some endones. Usually I take one of each. It's a fucking weird feeling. Usually you just black out for like 15 minutes. <laughs> Jesus, fuck. Seeing as, I, seeing as I've had literally one, only codeines and endone, I reckon I'd just take an MDMA. That'd fuck me up hectic. You got snap? No, I don't got snap, but I do have Instagram. I want to crush up all the pills and snort them off your tits. You down? Haha, <laughs> definitely down. I'm pretty keen to get fucked up Friday or Saturday night after work. <laughs> I want to get so fucked that I have to thumb my flaccid flesh up your holes. Haha, <laughs> oh. sounds like a fun night out. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm collecting nangs off mates. Have you ever shot up? I've only ever done it once before. <laughs> but no pressure. I know it might be a bit full on. The pills are heaps of fun as well. No reply. Dude, that oh, is she going to reply or is that like... I think so, yeah. That is insane. That she she sees potential in you. Nangs, <laughs> thumb my flaccid <laughs> cock into your holes. That is so. That is not what a girl wants to hear, dude. <laughs> That's what I thought, Matt. <laughs> but there you go. You shit. sent it. You sent it. Oh man. <laughs> oh my god, dude. That was very good. Oh, and that is the end of Matthew's Tinder adventure. So as you can see, some very interested ladies. And yes, Matt, I will send you their details when the cameras aren't rolling. But you never fucking approve anyway. You just always deny. I have women lined up out the gate for you. In really sort of fun scenarios, some of these. like well, There are some of them who have said yes to just coming over, not saying one word and letting you do what you want to them. 
That's crazy that you, that one agreed to you just thumbing your flaccid cock. Yeah, like, like yeah. So you've you've like you literally there's you got nothing to lose now. If you did do that with her, you could just get really fucked up. And if you didn't get hard, you could be like, yeah, I she warned you care. about this. Yeah, she would not give a fuck. So you basically have a hall pass to just do as many drugs as you can and, and see if you can have sex. You're welcome, Matt Brown. You Let- guys are disgusting. <laughs> disgusting men. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ever since the said, Barbie film, man. Yeah, you said, <laughs> yeah. you said men like patriarchy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, but yeah, there you go. Very good. So, what's the next of a client? Oh, all right, guys, let's answer. Oh, Matt's I've, fucking stickers. So, oh, Matt stickers. Now stickers. You still haven't returned the stickers. That you, you still got just got the PO box fucking We're literally post office s- shit sitting so, with a thief. Yeah, what? Well, did you take the stickers back? No, yeah. <laughs> I haven't paid, but I haven't been back yet. Now, you, yes. were, you were there today. No, there was. I didn't go in. Um, so I'm adding a little T Rex looking thing to my thing today. But you've already got a T Rex. Now I want more. Oh, what, Matt? Come on. Now that's my sticker for today. But I will say today has. I I, I need to make an announcement. You're pregnant. No, there is metamorphosis. A no. new shop in Chermside, and it's called Mint Collectibles, and it sells. A lot of cool shit. Basketball cards, UFC cards, stickers. <laughs> and they were just opened this weekend. And so um, yeah. Pretty excited about that. Yeah, that sounds really, really exciting. Fuck you, man. man. That is such a shit Fuck thing to you. say. Anyway, mint collectibles. Uh, yeah. Oh. They didn't ask me to shout it out or anything. It's just We yeah. haven't even been in there yet, have you? Take your movie yeah, I went group down and there and suck them off. Yeah, take your movie. I went group down there. and I went down there and had a look at their new store. You and your movie group like brunch and croissants and shit. I like croissants. You and your movie group, fucking. No, they're not into. You ride go to, go to bed at eight thirty p.m. <laughs> they're not. They're not uh, into the trading cards and stickers, but I definitely am. And yeah, it's, a cool, it's a cool shop. You guys should come down and have a look. You watch no, movies. Thanks. No thanks, Matt. All right, let's fucking move on. For fuck's sake. Has you... Oh, yes. Uh, questions? Yeah, yeah. Let's answer some of your fucking finest questions. Hit it, Brown. You have all the questions and we have all the answers and we've got lots of dances for you. And this mm. is a segment where we answer your questions. So if you want us to answer one of your questions, please comment on the Marty and Michael Fully Actual YouTube channel. We answer the most liked questions first. So once you've commented your question, have a scroll through and have a read and like some of the other questions you want us to answer. Now remember, we are two weeks ahead. So if you comment and your comment gets the most likes and the next week the episode comes out and you're like, oh, then you need some more questions. So remember, we're two weeks ahead. So yeah. we're going to go back two weeks, okay? So if you want your question answered, look for the answer in two episodes time. <laughs> <laughs> all right um bryce carter 8685 um he has asked and this got the this no. got the most likes but i don't know if it if so, it works if it works right, pretty early. Um, um was michael well, actually no, upset, upset when marty spent, spent all his arcade, arcade card, card points like, remember he had oh, a yes. lot he had like how much did you have Hundred thousand he had i had enough to get a playstation the latest playstation oh and then i was just gonna buy you one and i just I still haven't gotten around to that yet. yeah <laughs> You just got to remind me. I'll yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Oh, we'll just. I haven't. I don't really play at home. I only play at the Brownery. But yeah, no. That that like Michael went through a stage when he was single years ago. He he would spend like a fucking dumb shit amount of time in the arcade, and he'd find all the games that aren't even fun. He wanted the tickets. So you're losing money. You're losing money by going there and spend playing the game to get the tickets. Like you spend like five bucks, even if you get the maximum amount of tickets. It's only like a dollar's worth of tickets. I remember Michael getting angry at me because I was playing the skill test a second they didn't give any tickets. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. that's true. I, I, I agree. Skill skill, Mon and Essa love the skill testers and I just because they're like, the, the, the claws it's it's a fake machine. We've seen it now when Lockie and no, Jackson just, bought one they literally Lockie and Jackson bought a claw machine and there's literally a setting you click it and it goes and it's just limp and then every now and then it goes hard yeah it's like or, every 10 yeah or it's a so there's no skill involved at all it's just a fucking limp dick thing or you can change a setting and it grips every time you win every time 
Yeah, it's not. I, I, re, I regret I, it. It wasn't cool to do. I hate myself. We all have our problems. Like Matt goes and sees films with movie crew members. And he hasn't gotten changed since he went to the Barbie movie. That's how he but went. I went through a stage <laughs> where I, I spent money at the arcade. Yeah, mm. man. And you were so good at all that. Like, every now and then, like, we'd be like, you oh, were really as good. A, as a group, we'd be like, you might, oh, why don't we, like, you know, kill a bit of time? We'll go to the arcade. And Michael would just fucking destroy everyone knew because he knew everything about every there fucking was a, game. There was a game that went around. It was like push these little circles around in a big circle and you push a button and it claws one into a hole. Yeah. And then you could get, and <laughs> yeah. each one was a certain amount of tickets. And Michael That's literally Michael. goes, 100, like 100 <laughs> tickets was the most you could get and there's only like three little was ones like out there. Was it like 500? 500 yeah, tickets. 500 yeah. tickets. And he just goes, like watch dollar. this, watch this first go, boom, and nailed it. Yeah, and Very he'd, good. he'd only play that game if there were 500 ticket blocks on the board. If there weren't, he wouldn't waste his time. Yeah, man, I should have just spent my time at the casino. <laughs> yeah, I guess. I would have probably had made more. Like, I guess I just enjoy the well, game. Well, no, because- The it, colors caught me. Yeah. Next question is from Peter Hunt 2193 um, uh, You guys don't have to answer this if you don't want to. Um, what was the process of getting the new creators onto the website? Um, it was, well, first of all, we needed to find guys that we, like we, Michael and I look back at how, where we've come to and back in the day when we first started, we were fucking just making some real fucked up videos, just torturing ourselves for nothing, for no views, nothing. And so the the first motivation was finding other people in the same kind of boat who make really crazy but awesome content that just can't get it monetized anywhere, don't get paid for it. So it just kind of goes to waste. So we thought fucking Kylovic, he, he's like, because he has had all of his shit. He's had so many accounts deleted. Everything he does just gets deleted. But he sh he's crazier by far than the, than all of the jackass crew, I would say. He jumped off like a building that was four bar, stories high. Yeah, bar Johnny Knoxville, I reckon he's like up there with the, the psychoest motherfucker I've ever seen. Yeah, he does some crazy shit. And so like people need to see that. There, right? Yeah, people need to fucking see that because it's just like, it's, such, it's literally a shame. Some of it's like full on, but like it's 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 a shame that no one gets to see that shit. And Zach asks same shit. He's, he's, you know, he's got... He's, he's had heaps of stuff get deleted and he is constantly like he's been in Jackass 4 and he's constantly like there's it's hard for people who make content like us to make a career out of it to make a living he's not you know he's not fucking he sh he's, he's just been in a movie he should be fucking loaded but no all yeah. the content creators like a struggle hard so surely there's more out there who just isn't we're not seeing that's yet what, that's, they're, that's they're what we're things. hunting for yeah. that's where we're literally once we um, you know get enough members to pay for Zach Ars and Kylovic then we go and find more then we go and find more so every time someone subscribes you're supporting not just us now you should be supporting the entire type of content that Michael and I make the fucking brutal shit that no one gets to see so it's pretty much you're supporting a charity. Well, yeah, we're a charity now and all proceeds go to, to us. us. <laughs> For our charity. Next question is from Cody Northcott 9827 uh, Do you boys know where the host is? Well, funny you mention that because I saw the Cracker Milk crew here the other day and um, they said they'll film on a doco with him. Oh, no. But like, oh, yeah, I haven't fucking, um, yeah, I haven't seen him. Apparently he's pregnant. Surely that's a rumor. Yeah, I think it is. I made it up. Yeah, you made it up, made it up just then. Yeah, and no, that's definitely a lie. But yeah, he's he's around, and um, I can confirm that. Yeah, the Kraken were like, no, no, we're like he was like they were literally like walking around a house and shit, and I didn't see him, but like they were over at that weird is that what a caravan over there? Oh, what you haven't seen that before. I've never really noticed it. Yeah, they were kind of hanging around a caravan that's like kind of in the corner of the yard. Um, I don't know. But yeah, something's coming. Brown? Sorry. You and the host would get along well, I reckon. Yeah, maybe if I dress like this, he'll see me as a friend. As an equal. Next one is from, from AJ, AJ Spence, Spence 9191. After Michael gets married, can we get another podcast with Mon and Amber? Um, just uh, I find them very rewatchable. It would be good, cool to get their insight into their weddings. Yeah. Yeah. Why yeah, not? I think, eh? Yeah, we'll do a bunch with them. There's like, yeah, we do want to fucking get them more involved. We sh yeah, we should, and we'll do a website video with them too. Yeah, dude, but that that reactions to our fucked up video is going to be pretty hard. <laughs> but hey. at least I, I kind of feel better once they have seen it though, because then it's like, 
Like, I, like sometimes I worry. Like, imagine in ten years' time, like they try and cancel us or something, and they're like, "Look at these sick fights." <laughs> <laughs> and then, there is some and then, rough shit. And then, dude. Some, and then some shit comes out that Mon hasn't seen before, and she's like, "Oh fuck, I didn't know that <laughs> there was this." Shit. Didn't know it was that fucked. Yeah, I didn't know it was quite that fucked up. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, just the other day, it got real dark. We did a, a video called "The Pain Chair," and I'm pretty sure it was painful. I vomited in, yeah. I oh, vomited yeah, in, yeah. That's right. An yeah. area that shouldn't be vomited. You vomited in my mouth. It was like birds. Oh, Ooh. I don't want to oh, fucking think about it. I don't want to think about it anymore. Ace Let's Ventura, remember Ace Ventura? There you go, little buddy. <laughs> yeah, that's what happened. <laughs> that did funny face. Yeah, there. that was good. Uh, next question is from Joseph Oliver John. Uh, when did Matt Brown turn into a conglomeration of Marty and Michael? Um, I'm guessing he means if I merged into you guys. You beat us. <laughs> yeah, look at this. We became B. Look at this. And he also followed up to his, also he wants to know what a dog shot is because <laughs> he doesn't know what that is. A dog shot is when no one is looking and you, you punch them when when they're not looking at you or expecting it. That's also known as king shot. hit or coward punch well, a king or hit, hero punch. I think a king uh-huh. hit is like a full, like as hard as you can. A dog shot's more of a jab. Like a, you reckon? Yeah, yeah. I, w- I would say a dog shot's just a bit like he's fucking and punch someone on the back of the head when they're something. not when they're sort of like oh no man no 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 it wasn't me it wasn't me and you just sort of whack him one yeah, well, yeah or like yeah. They, they're like you're in front of their face and you, you like just quickly hit them without them like well if, if this up. if it's if they're looking at you and you know, I, I would just say that that's just a normal fight that's that's just a, but a dog shot is a fucking quick one of the fucking head when they're not looking and a king hit is like a full-blown haymaker while when they're, they're not, not looking when yeah. they're not looking no one does king hits anymore <laughs> ever yes, since they that do. Fucking- are you blind <laughs> ever since that stupid campaign you don't it's watch the news them. anymore. <laughs> it's fucking killed king hits. They used that's to be there all the time. Look, it would be nice to see one every now and then. I'm not going to lie. Not, dude. I that's swear, a man. I haven't heard about some dude dying for ages. Yeah, you used to hear about it all the time, Because you don't watch actually. mainstream news. Yeah, that's no, what that mainstream is so news true. Is I remember when I was no, in high reckon- school... When I was in high school, like, oh, did you hear about my mate's mate got king hit and like like full It was standard head practice. Injuries. There oh, was a king hit on. a day. You know what we're hearing a lot about now? Stabbings. Yeah, stabbings is different. That's, That's too far. I'd prefer but to bring stabbed. back the king hit, I reckon. What would you prefer? A stab or a king hit? A king hit. I've been king hit. Yeah, yeah but you, got, you, you got king hit in the line well, that time. No, but a, a king hit. I, I, I don't know if I'd prefer... I think I'd prefer like a king hit. You can die because you're knocked out when you get hit, and then you, if your head whiplash is on the ground hard enough, you're fucked. But if you're stabbed, both, like dude, both that's, are bad. yeah, I'd get. Yeah, king it depends hit. where you get stabbed, but just like a knife, like that long. I'd get king. Okay, get king hit and make sure you just not, just don't die. That's what I do. <laughs> Cause Cause that's what I've done. Because one's a head injury and one's just like a body injury. I think I'd prefer to get stabbed as no, long as enough. Can I defend be- the stabber? Stab no. would hurt. Yeah, no, but I'm not. I'm not keen to get stabbed. Then I reckon they need to stop the stabbings. Bring back the king hit because it's too much. The so knife you is prefer too much. to get king hit as well? I don't know. See, that 100%. sounds bad too. <laughs> There's no good. There's no really good outcome. Yeah, no. Well, I've done it. I've done that. Tick that off. It's fine. I it's not that bad. I can flip a coin. No, yeah, it goes, fills up with blood for a week and then it goes back down. I reckon I've flip flip been king hit before. That's so good. It's but right. he can joke about it because it's happened to him. Yeah, I'm a victim of it. And, but yeah, knives is like, it's gone too far. You're playing. Yeah, silly, don't. Yeah, silly. Put, believe knife in kitchen. Go play with fork. Yeah, yeah. Or just. Yeah. Don't need a weapon. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, there's a question from James here, but you might be able to answer it. Has James? Uh, oh no! Oh, he's so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> that's why. That's why he's dumbest that. person I know. Glass shatter. <laughs> what was it? As he broke. He broke the um, Luke's that big glass that we had the sculling comp with. Oh no! Is you're that bad? To, yeah, you're gonna have to tell Luke you broke one of his beer glasses. Oh no, he loves those beer glasses. Really? Like, Mon's here, by the way. And I swear she's gonna she's gonna look straight at me as she comes in. Yeah, yeah, she's dropping an Esther off. Just kidding. Don't king hit. Don't stab. Um, one final question. It's from the wonky donkey one two three one. Um, Matthew Gregor Brown. Who looks more? Who do you think would look more fuckable, bald, Marty or Michael? Oh man, you, already, seen you look him great bald? bald. I don't look great bald. You look. I, I reckon. I, I look, prefer you with your head shaved than grown. I have no. seen Marty shaved. Same with Jackson. Same with a lot of dudes. But it doesn't suit me. I haven't seen Marty. I've seen Marty shaved, but I haven't seen Michael shaved. So it'd be very hard to make a decision. 
But yeah. I don't know. I, I struggled. Marty's Some, got the right head. I can't even remember what you look like shaved. Only one, Who is more set. fuckable for me changes on a day to day basis. I feel like the the fucking yeah because the head shave is also associated with the fucking army. That's why you know you are so against getting your head shaved. No, no, it's literally just because you you that was at one of your lowest points. So you looked at yourself in the mirror and thought, "Fuck, I look so shit." When in reality, you probably didn't really look that bad. It's just because you were overall feeling shit. Did no. you take a photo of when you shaved? It's some, there's probably a photo somewhere. I've got it instilled in my brain, and you just some people have the heads for it. You've got a head that works. Brown, lucky, got a full head for it. You've got, you've got a head. You do brown. Yeah, you've, you've, got, you've got, you've got a head. Jackson looks way better with a shaved head. Well, than so, he does well not really good head. looking no, people. Really good looking. I love people. him with a shaved head. Really, he good, looks good. But really good looking hair. people just look good in any haircut. That's why models have a job. You know, that's why. They just yeah, look at Brad look Pitt. Good. He can shave his hair or have long hair. Whatever yeah, exactly. He wants. He yeah. Some, people can, some people can just have anything and they look good. Me with long hair. Can you imagine me with long hair? Oh, that would dude. be so gross. I would love you. It would be wispy. so thick wispy. but thin yeah. and wispy. Oh, Remember that bald cut photo of you you sort of had? I've got a picture yeah, of it somewhere. That was him at high school. Dude, he, had yeah. the, he had like this fringe that came down, yeah. long hair. Dude, I've been sending my driver's license in because... Um, when oh, you when you right. get fucking um, oh, at, at like a bottle of wine on DoorDash, fucking couple of weeks ago, <laughs> and you have to show them your ID, and yeah, it's, it's, so I'm having to show my ID for stuff now. Sometimes, like even like some forms and shit, we'll fill filling out today and that haircut picture I have on there on my license is just so fucking it's coming back to bite me but no issues so far <laughs> yeah well you've got that for five years so. well I struggled with like, it was just a normal photo but it's um I had the hair like because I just renewed it so many times I, I had like hair and I'm clean shaven in my photo and for ages I'd go up to nightclubs and I'd put my ID and they'd look at it really like is this suspiciously fucking, yeah, suspiciously now i've got a new one with a shaved head but yeah it's a tough day but yeah unfortunately shaved head wouldn't work for me so marty would win there's a little little bug floating around brown's face oh all right well let's just have a very quick bong break everyone and we'll be right back with the prank call <laughs> And we're back. All right, guys, it is time for the prank call. And today, Darren is back. Now, we've raided Matt's bin. And lo and behold, we found a, an empty condom box um, with, well, one condom left in it. Fuck. Um, so he's been a busy, busy boy. Um, but anyway, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call a pharmacy, right, as Darren. And I'm upset. He's upset because... The girl he's fucking, he's got a missus, and he, the girl he's, his mistress is pregnant. And That's um, good. the condom, and the condoms kind of, he thinks they guarantee 100% protection. <laughs> How come he's ain't like answering your phone? Good afternoon, DC. Jenny speaking. Uh, hey Jenny, uh, my name's Darren. Uh, I am, I'm just like in a bit of a panic at the moment. Like I bought one of your um, products uh, maybe like a uh, week ago. Or, oh, sorry, like I've been buying this product off used for like months and months. Like I'd say for the last like year, right? I've been coming to you guys buying this product, um, and I've just kind of found out uh, that it doesn't lock. It's not. It hasn't worked. Um, like it should have, and um, and now like it's yeah, I'm a bit I'm a bit panicked about it at the moment. Sorry, I buy the condoms from you guys. Like I get the the brand Lifestyles condoms from you guys. Okay, you understand? Mm -hmm. And okay, so without going into like too much detail on that, like. I wear one lock every single time. Like, there's no lock down in my mind. Boom, boom, boom. Every single time, I am very safe. I'm lock, you know. I'm I'm so so sure. safe when it comes to that stuff, right? But I've come home like this just happened last night, right? And I've just found out that my my girlfriend, right, she is now pregnant. And I'm like reading the packet and that, and like it's like, and then I see on the back, like, and that I was like, that can't be, that can't be true. Like she must have cheated or something. But then I read on the back, it says here, no, no form of contraception can provide one hundred percent protection. That's correct. 
Correct. So, like, how come that's, like, in such small writing, like, on the back of it and that? Like, that, shouldn't that be, like, first thing you read, like, like 99% and that? Because I would have, like, want put two on or something to double up and that to make sure that this doesn't happen because, like, I can't have this... I can't have this woman pregnant. Like, I, I can't... I don't know yeah, what to do. Like, that's something you... Yeah, yeah, but that's like that's to. like I can see you for like defamation and that if you don't put that on the box, like because you are selling a product right that don't even work. It's ninety nine percent or something, right? But like you've got to put that on the box, otherwise that's like defamation and shit. I can get like uh, cops and shit involved. Would you like to speak to our pharmacist? Yeah, yeah, and no, I'll definitely get put him on the phone because this is like this is like her, hey. Yeah, I can put her on the phone. It's yeah, not yeah, a yeah. That's what I said. Well, yeah, how, how am I meant to know? You would have to take. You would have to take it up with the um, merchandising of the company, not with us. What? So if, it, we, if don't, it, we don't make them. Yeah, uh, um, you're, you're the, the yeah, but if, if if a drug dealer sells me bad drugs, I'm going to the drug dealer. I'm not going to the bloody manufacturer. That's too far to go. Like, you could potentially ruin my life here. Like, you know, one when my if my wife finds out that my that my girlfriend is pregnant, like I'm done. My life is over. Okay, so you like need to compensate in that because like he's got to put that hundred percent on the front. Otherwise, I could sue you for defamation and that. I will put the pharmacist on. I won't do moment. Yeah, put her on. Yes, I will put her on. Hello, Catherine speaking. I yeah. believe you're speaking to my store manager in regards to a purchase good yes yeah no nah, that's right yeah. yes yeah, so i look i've bought like 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 i'm like stressing right out like you can imagine my stress right now look i've like had i've been very safe right i'm first of all i am one of the safe safest sex sex people i know right like i'm always tarping up every single time i tarp up right and now some reason right she's 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 fucking called me last night saying fucking she's done two pregnancy tests and she's fucking pregnant and i'm like what the fuck like what do i tell my wife first of all if that's the case and second of all if if your product ain't 100 percent effective you's got to say that you's got to be you's got to put that on the box and that otherwise you get done for like defamation and shit like i can just come and sue you guys now because like like now what i gotta i gotta pay like child support and shit like you's gotta you's gotta do you's gotta chip in on that Unfortunately, you will have to bring this up with the manufacturer because we're not the one who makes the condom. Um, so I can give you the manufacturer's phone number and but did you know, the complaint. Did you or did you or not know that condoms were not not a hundred percent safe? Did you or did you not know that? Condoms are never hundred percent. Exactly right. So you knew that. So I'm saying. So you've got to put a sign on it or something. Like you can't have blokes going we in there thinking it's hundred percent. If it's only nine and all, like people have sex more than more than nine and nine times in their sir, life. Do you know what I'm I mean? I'm gonna I'm gonna have to stop you there, sir. We can't add any other advertisements, materials, or statements onto a manufactured product without the manufactured product confirmed. Yeah, that's so unethical, but that's just so unethical in that because, like, you, you, you know what's going on, you still do it, you're just doing it for money and that, and then now my life's, like, done, and you just don't even give shit, give me someone else's number, what do you think they're going to do? They're going to say, oh, it's your, it's the bloody farmer's fault, they should have bloody let let the let the customers know, hey, mate, this one's not 100%, have a little sign up on the front, on the front desk there where you, where you fucking check out and that, look, how condoms aren't all 100%, it's, like, so important, don't you? You get it? Like this is like a guy's life is over. As soon as his miss is pregnant, it's fucking done. My life is done if this shit goes through. So like I mentioned, that needs to be raised with the actual manufacturer, not with us. Yeah, so it just blows my mind, but can you see like like let me level with you like your you know this product ain't hundred percent like effective. And you know that, and you're watching blokes going big smiles on their face. Oh yeah, no, nah, no, nah, yeah, just a pack of these things. And you, you sit there thinking, fuck that bloke thinks it's hundred percent. If he goes out and fucks hundred times, one of the times is going to be fucking. He's going to have a fucking baby. So like I, I'm saying this multiple times, but we're not the one who manufactures the condoms, and we're not the one who advertises the condoms. That's just being sold as a third party and if there's any issues you have to contact the okay. manufacturer okay look alright look, look I'll find like the column number and that but like seriously like maybe like 
Just take it as a customer suggestion lock. Put signs on the corner. I'm saying, like, these are not 100%. Just a little lock post it note. Like, you know them little uh, yellow ones with the sticky bit at the top there? Just put, like... By law, we can't not do 100%. that. Not 100%. I know, by law, law schmoor, mate. You, you're bloody ruining blo- blokes' lives. Like, you're ruining blokes' Sorry, lives. this is a business that we're running. You yeah, exactly. And that's what it comes down law. to. It comes down to money but over people, and I'm, I'm sick of it, to be honest. No, like, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying there's some laws that we have to obey. We have to follow. Yeah, and who do you think put them laws in there? But like, it would have been like um, manufacturing that would have done that, put the laws in it. Yes, that is exactly why you have to raise this with the manufacturer because yeah. we can't go against the law and policy from the manufacturer. Okay, look, look all right, I'll give them a buzz right now. Look, I need the use have something like if someone is 16, 16 weeks fucking pregnant, right? Do you have like is there like a like a pill or something or is there like um, supplementation or something that I can get that like um, you know what I mean that like um, that that makes that that makes that it that needs to be raised with the doctor and you will have to grab a prescription so it can be done. Have to go through, I'm just I just want to know if it can be done, but I just want to know if it can be done. At, at, Abortion at form, is something at, that has to be done through the doctor's consent and the patient's consent. Even at, even at four months, I can just go and go, oh, your doc, get rid of that one for us at four months. By law, that is now a baby or a fetus is grown, so that needs to be raised with the doctor and the patient's consent. Right, right, right. And that is becoming very legal matters. So we can't give you any um, advice on, on that question. Um, by law, I can't give you any advice on that. So you'll have to speak with the patient herself and the doctor. Look, all right. Look, I'm gonna I'm gonna do what you said, but look, I'm I'm saying here, look, I'm gonna call like a uh, couple of, couple of friends of mine who's lawyers and that, and like I'm gonna see what's going on here and that, because like yous could be liable on that for like defamation and shit, because yous ain't putting like uh, stickers and shit on your products saying they don't work when when blokes going in there thinking they do work. So like I'm just saying, like I know yous got rules and blah blah, ha la de da with the bloody manufacturer and shit like that, but I'm just saying like. Things need to change because, like, yeah, it's ruining ruin people's lives. It's like, yeah, this could be the well, end of that, my life. That's the that's the feedback that you can bring up with the manufacturer. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. You you can go and bring that up with the manufacturer. Yeah, because it's like you know, it's, it's, it's still for men. Number on the manufacturer. And not enough gets done for men anymore these days. Like, it's just like all about women. Women, it's like you got to look after the blacks too, the boys. You know what I mean? I'm like, fuck me. But anyway, darling. Is there right. anything else that you can I can help you with? Just give us a call. I'm here. My name's Catherine. I'm the manager here. You can speak to me in regards to that um, mm. issue. But yes, do call the manufacturer no, and Caf- bring that up with the manufacturer. Kathy, I'm so lock, lock. I'm lock, lock so lock. I'm actually like sorry in that for like getting a bit heated in that earlier and can you like say sorry to the other staff member and that because like uh, you've come through like first of all it was a bit like clash clash but like now we've kind of come together and like we're flying down down the river of like love and that and like I understand what's going on now and like you I feel like you know what like I am a bit now and I've got a real deep like connection nut nut connection with you I reckon now so I, p- I appreciate your time and that oh no thank you for thank you for your call let us know if you need anything else from myself um, you can call our store number I'll be in every day so yes please give us a call if there's anything else we can help you with maybe yeah, maybe I can be a dad look I think I'm just gonna what's done is done look I'm gonna go be a dad and do the, do, do the best job I can thank you so much for your time Kathy Okay, thank you. Hopefully this don't go no further with the legals and that, but yeah, I might have to sue for defamation. But yeah, anyway, you have a good day, all right? It begin it begin Okay, you too. It begins be bigger. Rewees. Let bygones be bygones. <laughs> <laughs> I really want to hear you oh, say let wow. bygones be bygones. <laughs>
That was very, yeah, very I suck good. at riding. Oh, oh, she handled that well, man. She <laughs> must be going to hate men even more. <laughs> well, we've done men a massive disservice she by doing that. She was such a professional. <laughs> Dude, the first one had no time for you. She thought you were such a fucking... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 I know. How are you meant to know? <laughs> oh, dude, it was so good. It's because I assumed <laughs> that, that it was a he in the... In oh, a, man. In a, sorry. It was, I loved, I've missed Darren. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah, I'd have you missed were, like, man, he was flowing through you tonight. That was good. Yeah. Anyway. All right, guys. That is the end of episode number fucking 31. Wow. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, leave a five-star review on Spotify. It keeps us trucking along. And if you want to see us live, it's, buy tickets to the live podcast finale this middle of November, the 11th. It's a Saturday in Brisbane and we all go out and get drunk after. Fuck Did we yeah. mention that in this podcast? I, I did it earlier yeah did not did you I think so yeah I don't remember you mentioned yeah I remember that. saying at the start I'm not sure if they're sold out yet but did you yeah Man. you don't ever listen to me pink bitch yeah I'm brain dead <laughs> we're the best we're, we're the, the best. best we're the best best best, best.